Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I'm going to talk about the notes editor, which is a way to communicate between tracking supervisors and artists. So from the edit menu, I'm just going to select add note. That's going to bring up the note editor. You'll see here's the note. So I'll just select the text and There we go. You notice when I click off to something else that the actual text updates. I can just select the note and you know, grab it in the camera view and start moving it around. And you notice that there is a single corner here that has a marker, a little arrow to it. So that's the point that the note is being located at. So if I go and position that at a certain spot, you know, now the note's going to stick to that spot even as I move things around. So that's your, your reference point. So you can just take a look at that corner to know what's going to happen. So naturally I can go and create some more notes. So maybe this other note though, I want to have it be in a different range of frames. So I'm just going to click the here. So I just set, set the beginning and ending frame. And now you know, the note's just on that particular frame. So really maybe I want to go and go a little later in the shot. So now I've got the two different notes set up, one at the beginning of the shot, one later in the shot. So I can use these two buttons to go and just skip through the different notes in the particular shot. Of course, we can have So you can make a multi-line note. And you, know, you notice you can go and select back and forth between them. So that's pretty straightforward. The default length of each note is set up via, via a preference. So you can, you can adjust what that is. I think it's set to 24 frames by default, which is just you know, intended to be long enough to let you see it go by as as you scrub through a shot. But, you know, often when you just start up a shot, you'll be at sometime at the beginning, and you don't know if there are any notes at all, maybe. And so we could go and just bring up the notes editor. And here's our first note. So really, we might not, we might just see something like this. You don't know, are there any notes at all? Just bring up the notes editor. It'll go to the first one. And you, know, you can skip through the different notes to see what's there, see what, what's been left for you to work on. Now, these notes are all just on a single shot. But if you have a couple different shots in a particular scene, you can go and create notes on the different shots. So I'm just going to go and move it to that other camera so I can set that up and you see it's it's just in the one and not the other. And you notice there's a third option that I can put it into both of the shots. They might want to do that with some node at the beginning of the shot that uh, just lets you what know what to do. Of course, you can go and change the background color, and maybe just once in a blue moon, you might do a, sh a note like that. Most of the time, <laughs> it's going to be telling you things that you need to do. So that's a basic walkthrough here. Again, it's a nice little communication method between tracker 
you know, tracking artists and the supervisor, that's how it was initially suggested to me, it might be a good way to remind yourself what you need to do tomorrow after you have a great weekend. So I hope you do, and thanks.